Look at him, look at him. Look at that. Just look at it. That's moist right there, man. Fresh out the oven, too. Look at that steam coming off of it. Ooh, wee. Look at him. This is a, uh, what my grandmother used to call this old sweet bread. We used to throw these, uh, she used to throw these together all the time on a, uh, on a weekend for, for Sunday morning, uh, for Sunday dinner and whatnot. Uh, this is a cream cheese pound cake, real simple. Um, real easy to put together. Pretty difficult, honestly, to me, in my opinion, to mess this up. Um, it's just uh, no need for no icing, none of that. It was some coffee, a little bit of whipped cream, or even some ice cream. But fantastic, easy recipe. Let me show you. All right, simple ingredients we have. We have a quarter cup of sour cream that I'll be putting in, a cup and a half of butter, six eggs, one eight ounce package of cream cheese, a teaspoon, I'm using uh, vanilla bean paste, three cups of sugar, and three cups of flour. I'm gonna go ahead and start buttering or creaming our butter and sugar. Um, this is always the uh, important step uh, when making a cake. I do this for about five minutes until it's uh, well incorporated. Wow, well, let's go ahead and add that vanilla bean paste. Um, if you only have uh, uh, the vanilla extract that works perfect, I'm actually trying this vanilla bean paste for the first time. Um, came out amazing. Uh, after five minutes of beating, go ahead and start incorporating your eggs. Um, I usually like do mine one at a time so I'm not making a mess. You can usually do this if you have a, a kitchen aid, uh, but if you're just using a hand mixer, that's, you know, just take your time. Um, after that, go ahead and add in that quarter cup of sour cream. Just go ahead and let that incorporate. Just like that. It was at this moment that he knew he f***ed up. I forgot to mission with the butter and sugar. You want to cream that cream cheese <laughs> with it. I actually forgot that part. My apology. Um, so I took a little bit more, a, a little bit more time to mix that in, but it's fine. It, I just mix it a little bit longer, but uh, after a while should come out nice and creamy. Let's go ahead and start mixing our flour. You should just uh, do about a couple of cups at a time, stir it in, um, and then as it incorporates, I speed it up. And then once that's mixed all the way in, then I just go ahead and dump the remaining uh, batch of flour that I have. Make sure you sift your flour. You don't want lumps in your batter. That's no bueno. So go ahead and mix that in, uh, allow it to incorporate. Um, although I do have this nice edge beater, which is phenomenal, still make sure you get your edges so you're not missing anything out. And continue mixing. And after 
five to eight minutes, you should start looking like this. Now we're ready to put in our dish. Make sure your pan is coated in some sort of non-stick baking spray. I'm using Baker's Joy, which is pretty much just oil and flour. Or you can go old school and do shortening and flour. Either way, you want it coated, get the air pockets out, and after a while, it'll look like this. It's a little much. Uh, I would have preferred probably mm, I shouldn't put that much in there, but in our oven at preheated 325, we go ahead and set a timer at hour 15, hour 20, and we'll come out looking like this. Again, simple pound cake recipe. Um, it's really not difficult to hit these on the mark, unless you're trying to get all fancy and make your icing and this and that. You can keep, like my grandmother said, old sweet bread, just plain and simple. Don't make it too complicated. At the end of the day, you're gonna come out with a very moist and enjoyable dessert. Glad y'all enjoyed.